Good morning. You're watching Much Ado About Something, and thank you for joining me today. Whether you've watched all my videos and you know me and you know who I am, or whether you uh, are just joining and you're new to the channel, you're welcome here, and I'm glad you uh, stopped by and I'm spending the time with me. I hope I share something with you that encourages you, maybe something that makes you think, gives you an idea, gives you a tip or something you can use in your everyday life. And uh, that's what Much Ado About Something is about. My channel is about lifestyle, budget-friendly, home and garden. Those are the things that I'm most interested in. There'll be some essential oil and herb um, episodes thrown in. And then there's uh, the cooking show, the cooking that I share with you that's from my Southern Appalachian background. And there may be some other things shared with you from that background, too. I... Uh, I am appreciative of the way I was raised, and I love the uh, the uh, things that I learned from that lifestyle and from being taught that and uh, being part of the Appalachian Mountains and uh, my, my grandmother and my mother and the heritage that comes from there. It runs deep, and I appreciate it. I um, have a southern accent and a mountain twang in my speech. You may have noticed that before. Uh, when I was in the corporate world, that was always pointed out to me. That was always a big deal that I had this uh, accent. And sometimes people wanted to treat me less than intelligent because of my accent. But let me assure you, that's not the case. I appreciate you joining me today. I hope there's something that you'd like to uh, find out about or something I can share with you. And I'm always ever learning. I love when I learn something. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a good place to be. Well, today our Much Ado About Something is about dishwashing liquid. Um, if you have uh, saw my previous videos, you know that I've made a commitment to use all of my cleaning products before I go buy any more. And when I went through my cleaning products, uh, my dishwashing liquid and stuff, I had a massive amount. And I had this variety, and I was trying to think, why do I have so much of this dishwashing liquid? What's the deal here? I'm going to put you right here, uh, the tripod right here, so that I, I can go over there and talk with you about it. Today I'm having tea. I'm having raspberry and green tea. And instead of honey, I put uh, two packs of stevia in it. Well, today's much ado about something is about this dishwashing liquid. Well, I'm going to use all of this up, and I'm going to um, decide, and in the future, I'm not going to buy this many dishwashing liquids. I'm going to decide which ones, which one, maybe one or two of these are going to be the winner of which one I'll continue to buy. Well, I love this dishwashing liquid. This is concentrated. Um, you don't see this as often. I don't know if it wasn't a hit. I don't know if people weren't, wasn't using it a lot. It started out in this little pump. This, um, this 250 pumps in here. I thought it was great. Economical, smelled good, worked good. You can still buy the refill. I, I find these on the bottom shelf at uh, Walmart. I hope they're not discontinuing it. I love the smell of this. I love the concentrated cleaner. I think it's really budget friendly. Uh, I don't use this pump as much. It, it comes out with a foam. I use the uh, the pump that's on, you know, the, that's up there on my sink. Just a regular pump. Um, and I, I, I dilute this and put it in the pump. But I do love this, and I hope they don't discontinue it. But I don't know. It looks like they might. It's moved to the bottom shelf, and you hardly ever see these pumps anymore. Well, you have the regular bone. This one's four times the power, and of course, it cuts grease like nothing else. It's grease cleaning uh, dishwashing liquid, and I mean, it's it's in a uh, I mean, it's in a, a, a class by itself, isn't it? It's, I was just reading on here. It contains no phosphates, no biodegradable surfactants, sorry, 
and uh, it says add a teaspoon of dawn to a gallon of warm water. Do not soak. Soaking could lead to etching on certain materials and not for use in dishwashers. Well, you can use this dawn on a lot of things. I mean, you can scrub your uh, shower stall with it. I mean, your shower, you can, I mean, you can put it on stains, greasy stains that you have on your clothes. You can, this stuff just is, it's hard to replace it for this, the strength that it has. But I don't always need this much strength. That's why I don't use that every day. And in washing uh, dishes, it can really uh, uh, dry your hands out. It can really affect your hands when you're hand washing. So that's not something that I use every day. But it is a staple that I, I would put in my cleaning um, cabinet because it's uh, so versatile and it's so good. It's so good at grease cutting. This is a little bottle of uh, liquid dish soap and it smells like the ocean. I bought this at Target. And, and I just bought this small bottle because I wanted to try this and see. Uh, it cuts grease. I mean, it's a good dish soap. Um, it's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. I mean, it's uh, not a whole bunch of ingredients like some of these others. I mean, it's it smells good. It, it was a good little dish soap, but for some reason, I probably won't buy it again. It just uh, was not... I don't know, it, it, it was fine. It just is not something that I am looking for. It's not something that uh, appeals to me. It's budget friendly. Um, this is, I know Dawn has a variety of dish soaps. I mean, they have green, they have uh, this pink kind. I mean, they have a whole, a whole line of products in Dawn dishwashing liquid that you can choose from. But I just want the best product for the best price. I'm not brand um, committed unless it offers something that I can't find somewhere else. I guess that's the reason I've tried so many is I want to find the best one <laughs> for me. You know, but I'm telling you, this is the Great Value brand. And I'm sure it's a knockoff of the Dawn brand. You see the bottles shaped the same and everything. But you get 28 fluid ounces in this. And it's... Uh, the pomegranate, soft and smooth, it doesn't, it's too, it cuts grease and it does a really good job doing, washing your dishes, but it doesn't tear your hands up quite like uh, this. Plus it's pink and it smells better. I love blue. I mean, not that uh, pink matters, but every once in a while, you know, it's just good to have something different. But I really like this and I really liked it for the price. I thought this was, this was great. Well, here's Palm Olive. You know, you have the old standby. Lord, Palm Olive's been around a long time, hasn't it? It's tough on grease and soft on hands. That's its, uh, that's its claim. I, I know when my son first moved out and had his own home, he always wanted green dishwashing liquid. And I said, why do you, why do you buy Palm Olive? And he's like, because, it, because it's green. <laughs> but, um, uh, I know Dawn makes a green dish detergent too. There's, and I think there's even a game dish detergent now that's green. But some people, it's funny how they're attracted to the color. The color is what makes them buy a product. Um, I appreciate a pretty color, but I also want it to uh, to do the job that I need. Palm olive's a good soap, and I buy this because what I find myself doing with this is usually not washing dishes. To me, it's a mild soap, like when I break down the refrigerator and take all my food out of the refrigerator. I'll use palm olive in the uh, the little bucket that I clean the, the refrigerator with because I think it's gentle on my uh, drawers that I take out and my, rack, uh, my shelves that's in the refrigerator and the sides of the walls and everything. That's usually what I use palm olive for when I look back and think, what do I really use this for? It's usually just to... Uh, clean the refrigerator and clean maybe uh, rugs, you know, spot clean some rugs and things with it. Uh, it's usually, I use palm olive. And palm olive has this uh, clear, pure and clear and no unnecessary ingredients. A spring fresh version. This is a new um, hypoallergenic biodegradable cleaning ingredients. Parabens, no parabens or phosphates, and it's responsibly made. And I really liked it. I mean, yeah, the ingredient list is really small on here. And it's effective. And you can see I've used it. Um, I am uh, leaning towards these 
these clear cleaners more. I, I do like them. So this was a good dishwashing liquid. You know, I, I would buy this uh, for the money. And this Joy, now Joy's been around a long time. I bought these, uh, a bottle of Joy, me and a friend and I went in together and we bought all of the uh, ladies in our ladies fellowship group. There's about 16 of us. We uh, bought all, we bought the ladies fellowship group a bottle of Joy because we love the name. And uh, it's lemon scented and it's, you know, it's been around a long time. It's a good dishwashing liquid, but it's a little pricey for what it is. Of course, there was 30 ounces in here, but it was $3 and it was, uh, it just doesn't quite have the bite that I need when I'm washing dishes, when I'm doing all the big pots and pans and, you know, the, the trays, the cookie sheets and, you know, all the things that I, that I use a lot. Joy just doesn't seem to have the bite, even though I love the color of it. I love the scent of it. It's one of those mild cleaners um, that maybe you would just use as a cleaner. And maybe if you just had glasses and, and not a lot of uh, heavy duty things to clean like I do, Joy would be a perfect product for, but it's not something that I would buy uh, if it was the only dishwashing liquid that I was choosing to buy. Now, of course you got Mrs. Myers out here. Mrs. Myers is 16 fluid ounces, and I think this was about 2.98. I think is what I gave for these, for this. And uh, it comes in a pretty bottle. I love the bottle. It's it has different scents, you know, delicious different scents, and it's um, most people are really uh, enjoying it. Cuts grease. It's biodegradable, but for me, it's a little expensive. Um, the price for 16 ounces, you know, that's, that seems a little expensive. And of course, Cal, uh, talking about expensive, Caldrea or Caldrea. Oh my gosh, this is like a treat. This is a really good dishwashing liquid. It smells really good, but it's over $10. And that's not something I would use every day. Maybe I'd get this out on a day when I just needed a boost or, you know, when you do the same things over and over, when you clean your dishes and you vacuum your floors and you wash your clothes, I mean, those tasks are so monotonous. They're so, you do them so many times every day that every once in a while, it's nice to splurge and have a really good product that just smells really good and you know it's expensive and you, you're not going to use a lot of it. Um, or that's how I am. So that's the reason I even have this Caldrea. Or Caldrea is because uh, it's a very special dish soap. It smells really good. It's clear. It's biodegradable. I mean, it's uh, it's just beautiful. But I probably won't buy this soap again. I've uh, I've probably determined that I re I got this on sale when Grove was having a clearance sale. But that's not something I'm going to uh, invest a lot in. It's not something I'm going to use every day. It's just not in my budget. It's not budget friendly for me. But I'll tell you a really good product. This is from Food Lion and it's called Nature's Promise. There's 24 ounces in here and this is $2.98. Uh, it was when I bought this bottle, which was been about, you know, a month ago. I'm not sure if they've gone up because, you know, the prices in the grocery store have gone up a lot. But I'm thinking it's still around $3. Oh my gosh, what a really good product for $3. I mean, this dishwashing soap, it's uh, no synthetic dyes, no synthetic fragrances. I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a good soap. And the, the smell of this is Honeycrisp Apple. I think they have a lemon scent too, but I love the apple. And it was a uh, $2.98. It's 99% plant-based. I, I mean, this is a really good um, dishwashing liquid for the it's a good value for the money. It smells good, does the job. So um, that's my my rundown on dishwashing liquids. So probably I'll I'll be I'll keep the dome, but it won't be a, necessarily in my dish. It won't be my main dishwashing liquid. Probably this great value pomegranate. And this, uh, Nature's Promise, dish soap from uh, Foodline, 
So these are my two favorite ones out of all of these that I've used for an everyday general dishwashing liquid. These are going to be the two that I'm going to buy from now on. Um, I probably won't be buying any more of these at all. No Caldrea, My Mrs. Myers, no Palmolive over Joy, or this off-brand Target uh, dish soap. I won't be buying those anymore. So I'm going to use up all of these, and then that'll be all that I buy of these. And then the uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. I'll have, uh, of course, this will go in my cleaning um, category. They they uh, are more for than more than just washing dishes, so I'll have those, and they'll just I'll buy one of those, and they'll just be in the cleaning category. But for everyday dishwashing, it'll probably be this Great Value Ultra Pomegranate and this Nature's Promise Free. Uh, dishwashing soap, honey crisp apple scented, 24 fluid ounces. And this one is 28 fluid ounces. This one was $2.98, and I think this one was $1.98 at Walmart. And so these are, I mean, they're the most cleaner for the best value that I can recommend. Well, that's my much do about something today is about all this dishwashing liquid. Thank you for joining me today. I hope uh, this inspires you some way to uh, choose a good dishwashing soap. And I hope that um, if you have, know of any other kind of dishwashing liquids or something better, or uh, even if you have a recipe for making your home own handmade dishwashing liquid, then please feel free to leave that in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. And like always, until next time.